Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial series on mission creation in DCS. In this lesson I will go through how to set up an AWAC and waypoints. Having an AWAC is really helpful uh, for your situational awareness and if you're in a more modern jet uh, with data link it is even more helpful. So let's get started. First you select your AWAC by clicking add airplane group like so and uh, let's select the A50. so and let's uh, set it starting altitude let's uh, let's put it at 25,000 like so and I think uh, 430 knots at ground speed is uh, pretty decent for this uh, type of plane and click add to add a waypoint And another one like so let's keep it over land next up let's set it uh, to orbit between these two uh, waypoints like here by doing that you need to select waypoint one like so and click advanced waypoint add and perform task orbit and select racetrack like so and let's set up the speed a bit to uh, 450 let's say and here you can select your conditions for example if you don't want your uh, AWAC to become active before a certain time you uh, can click this one and here you can select a stop condition for example uh, uh, duration I often use this one if you don't want your AWAC to be uh, in the air longer than let's say uh, two hours oops not 20 like so And after it has flown for two hours, let's go back to uh, waypoint two, like so. Let's have it uh, fly uh, back and land at Bandar Abbas. Like so. And here you can also select where you want it to park. Actually, here you can only only choose auto. I don't know why. Normally, you can uh, select uh, which parking area you want it to go to, like B1001 or F101 or whatever. And when speaking of waypoints, I'm going to show you how to uh, do it with uh, ground units. Let's add some ground units. Yeah, let's have the M113s, right? right here and uh, add a couple of more like so and let's set up a waypoint down here now it will simply drive off-road in a straight line down so but you can also uh, order them to drive on the road like so let's go back to the starting uh, point and on road now it will follow the road like so it's really useful uh, if you want to simulate the attack on uh, supply columns for instance and once you have done that, you can uh, select its frequency. Let's uh, select frequency 305 megahertz, like so. And here you can choose its call sign. For example, uh, let's go for dark star 11. And now, just uh, let's just take to the air and see if we can uh, we can get in contact with the AWAC. So now I just placed. Uh, and a 14 on the map, set it to client. So let's get into the air and see if we can uh, contact the AWAC. So here we are in our Tomcat, so let's uh, set up our frequency. Like so. And let's open the com menu select uh, dark star and there we got our response from the AWAC and the picture was clear so there we know it's working
So back into the mission uh, editor, I'm going to show you a couple of more things. Let's select the units. Uh, in uh, advanced waypoint sections, you can also uh, select its uh, reaction to threats. If you select options and you click this one, you can uh, allow it to abort mission or simply evade fire or no reaction where it's simply a zombie and uh, doesn't care if it's being fired on. So I like to normally have it on evade fire. The procedure I just used for the AWAC here and uh, choosing loitering time and everything and the racetrack can also be used for uh, let's say the tanker. So you can use it for several other units. So this is this for uh, this video, a nice and short little one. In the next video I will go through uh, trigger zones. So thanks you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.